Blessings to everyone who is watching and listening to me at this time. My brothers and sisters, I'm here to encourage you and I'm here to speak this word of uplifting to you. Dear brothers and sisters, God is going to restore you. God is going to restore whatever the enemy has stolen. Actually, the Bible says that he will restore unto you the years that the locusts have eaten. It doesn't matter how long these locusts have been eating years from you. Some of you would have been actually far off in life, but you find yourself in a condition where you are wanting. You find yourself in the condition where you are in lack. Some of you have lost and you are still losing. But as I speak right now, the loss is coming to an end. You are going to start winning. You are going to overcome. And restoration is going to come your way. Keep on doing good. Keep on believing in God. Keep on helping others. Don't lose hope in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Brothers and sisters, let me read to you a very powerful scripture of a lady that was restored. She was actually restored. This is from the book of Acts chapter 36. Acts chapter 36 to 42. It reads, At Joppa, there was a certain disciple named Tabitha, which is translated Dorcas. This woman was full of good works and charitable deeds, which she did. But it happened in those days that she became sick and died. When they had washed her, they laid her in an upper room. And since Lida was near Joppa, and the disciples heard that Peter was there, they sent two men to him, to him imploring him not to delay in coming to them. Then Peter arose and went with them. When he had come, they brought him to the upper room, and all the widows stood by him weeping, showing the tunics and garments which Dorcas had made while she was with them. But Peter put them all out and knelt down and prayed, and turning to the body, he said, Tabitha, arise. And she opened her eyes, and when she saw Peter, she sat up. God bless everyone. This woman was restored to life. She was a giver. She was a giver. The Bible says at Joppa there was a woman, a certain disciple named Tabitha, which is actually translated into Dorcas. The Bible this says this woman was full of good works. There were other women that were doing good works, but they were not full. It was only this woman, Dorcas, at the time that was full of good works and charitable deeds. But the Bible says in those days, in those days, she became sick and died. She fell sick and died. But the women and widows around there did not want to let go of this woman. They had faith that this woman can rise from the dead. They had faith. So they went and sent two men to Peter. To implore him not to delay in their coming. To cut the long story short. Is that Peter was able to pray for the lady. And she was able to be restored. And he presented her alive. One thing I love about this scripture. Is that when Peter came. The women and widows. Or the widows. They were weeping and they were showing the tunics and garments which Dorcas had made. This was evidence that this woman was actually of value to the community. 
Brothers and sisters, many of you have done what is good. This is why I tell you, never stop doing what is good. Because one day, the person that you helped will actually be the blessing to you when you need it. You never know where the blessing comes from. The person that you have helped actually could be the key to you. Success. Could be actually the one that will recommend you to a place and a position that you need. Never undermine somebody. Brothers and sisters, I hope this word has blessed you. I hope this word has encouraged you. Keep on praying. Because your miracle is close. You shall be restored. Shalom.